for the Unreal people who are using Macs, um, this video is for you to be able to create reverb zones if the if Macs happen to not be compatible with any of the propagation APIs. Um, the built-in Unreal Audio features are still pretty good. So I'm just using the first person character scene uh, for this example. If I want to create an audio source, uh, first of all, you need the file itself. Um, strangely, Unreal really only reads WAV files, uh, which is kind of annoying, actually. So you'll need to, if you have MP3s, for example, you would need to convert them. Um, otherwise, the engine itself has a decent number of audio sources, so you're free to use those as well if you want. Um, but in any case, once you convert it to a WAV, you can drag it in and it will create a file like this with these sound waves. Uh, so to create an audio source, you just add an audio component to any actor. So if I create this empty actor, I can add an audio source to it. Um, and I'll also add a sphere so that I can tell where it is. And these, I have my example, which is the it was Casio by Jungle. Um, otherwise, you also have these built-in sounds that you can use if you want. I'm just going to use this song. Um, by default, the audio source is 2D, which means that you can't tell where it is just by uh, just by walking around or rotating your head. So notice that the sound will not change based on which way I rotate. So that's 2D audio. Um, if I want it to have, if I want it to be 3D audio, you can click the audio source and override its attenuation, which will let it, uh, it will let it be 3D. And you can change some settings. Like, as you know, you should use logarithmic functions for attenuation. Um, I'm going to, I think. The inner radius I'll make pretty small. The outer radius I think was fine. This is 36 meters by default, which I think was okay. Um, if you set the fall off distance too small, then you just won't be able to hear it. Like, uh, you won't be able to hear. Actually, it's fine. If this were shifted even a little bit more, you wouldn't be able to hear the audio source inside of this corner. But in any case, this is fine. You can change some other settings, like uh, the spatialization method should be binaural, which means that you get full 3D sound. Um, panning is sort of just like left and right. I don't know if, I don't think you really need to mess with the other, these other ones for now. There are options like listener focus, which is uh, when the listener is looking at the audio source, um, it's audio basically it perceptually increases, but yeah, this is not important right now. Um, anyway, you'll notice that the sound is 3D now. So I can hear that it's going from the left or from the right. Ready? Now, for to enable occlusion, let's say that the source is behind this wall. Um. It's just the parameter inside of the audio, a component itself, just like in Unity. Uh, you can enable occlusion. Visibility is probably fine. Visibility is just uh, whether or not you can see it. Uh, as for the frequency, um, 20,000 hertz is pretty high. If you, well, we'll see. When I test this, you'll see that it doesn't sound great. Nothing really changed, uh, so you should mess with some of these occlusion settings. Like 2000 Hz is pretty low frequency, so this is the only thing you want to let pass. You want 2000 Hz or below to pass. The attenuation is... You want it to be lower volume when the person is behind the wall, so I'll make it like 0.1. So that's it. Um, for reverb, you do that through audio volumes. So you can create an audio volume. And 
let's say the default volume will just be really big. And so this will get applied throughout the entire level. You can choose on the audio volume a reverb effect. There are some pre-made ones. So by default, let's say like, I don't know, parking lot seems fine. So you'll hear a reverb a little bit. You can hear some of the echoing. It sounds like a clanging noise and it's not actually simulating the propagation, it's just a filter. So there are no rays being traced and bouncing off the walls, it's just an effect. So um, the reason that reverb filters might not be a good idea is because, well, the reason we usually use propagation is if we have a really complicated scene, um, this, if you were inside of this little area here, there would be a lot of ray bouncing, which means that this part would be really echoey. With filters, as long as the, this area is rectangular, you can still use filters. So I made another audio volume. I'll make it much smaller. And I'll make it so that it's only over here. Anyway, um, yeah, so it'll apply this you want it to apply this reverb filter when you're in this area. Um, by default, it doesn't know that this is the one that you want to use when you're in this area. Like, it doesn't know if you want to use this one or this one. So what you can do is make the second one have a higher priority, like 100. It's pretty arbitrary. And I want it to be super echoey. So I just made, like, a super reverb, uh, reverb effect. You can create a new one up here if you want. So this one's called super reverb. And I can also, I mean, I can I can make the effect stronger by changing some of these parameters. So fade time is like the amount of time it takes for it to apply this effect after you move into that zone. I'm just gonna make it zero so that it applies immediately. I'm also gonna make the volume really high. Oh, it stops me from doing that. It stops me from making it too high because I'll probably blow out my speakers. But in any case, um, here's the effect. So this is the parking lot reverb filter that I'm in now. Sounds the same as before when I walk in here. It's way more echoey. Casio, playing on my heart just like a Casio. Breaking it apart so you can let it go. Oh, it a dirty year that's not original. Now let's go. Let's see occlusion working. So, um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. The reverb filters built in are still pretty good. It's just that they can't do propagation. So if you have any, if you have a scene that's any more complicated than a bunch of rectangles, then it'll become harder to use filters. But apart from that, it's not too bad. And you can keep copying these. So uh, let's say that I want a different audio source to play over here. Um, and this one will play a different song. So, Dark Necessities. This one, I inherited the settings, so. I want to include the one behind me. So this one is spatialized and it has occlusion. I also have the Super Reverb filter here. So it sounds way more echoey. So that's it. Good luck.